nice thing to say. But for those who have just joined in, who are watching the recording, um, you are missing a lot because this is a live chance for all of you to get in and clear their doubts, right. to talk about your misconceptions. I really want you all to come here without filters. If you have ever felt inches of shame about your weight, you don't like the mirror you talk. If somebody tells you to be, you get triggered when somebody tells you that why have you gained weight? What is it? This is the workshop for you. But I am ready to go ahead with the workshop with one thing that here is a safe space, which means nobody gives two cares about how you look, how what you wear, how is if you gave how you are presenting yourself. Turn on your cameras because the very first thing that it want to start with body weight, all of this comes with the inner confidence, and you need to have that confidence to be able to look at yourself, leave alone anything. And so it is very important for us to see your face as we take because we keep adjusting the pace and content yes. of the class as we look at your reactions. There is absolutely no reason unless you are at workplace, traveling, driving. In case you are driving, please hang up. This uh, Your life is more important. important. Please turn on your cameras because it's going absolutely. to be a very personal session. We want to talk to you. We don't want to come here and deliver a speech. We genuinely want to reach out and help you out with your goals because... I have faced a lot. Niranjan as a guy has also faced, but I know for genuinely for women how important it is to look good. So if you want to have a conversation with us, then stay and turn on your cameras. If you just want to hear us uh, hear a lecture, you will get this recording. You watch it later. So and we as we take the classes, I want you to remember that there are going to be a lot of busting of myths. I'm going to question a lot of your deeply held beliefs. And there are going to be a lot of moments when you're going to be like, oh my God, I didn't even know this is there. So be fully prepared to get your mind. Or how away. dare they say that? I have I have been doing this for so long. Uh, how dare they say that? That yeah. I mean, if there are going to be moments like this, yes. I want you to stay till the end, listen carefully yes. and go through all of this. The whole reason why we are doing this is we don't want you to go into the same pain that you know we have yeah, been yeah, through. The second premise of this entire workshop is this is not a substitute for a dietitian or a physical trainer. We will be giving you myths and buts busted, but none of it is a substitute for a professional person. We are only sharing our opinion and what has worked and general truths. But if you want to go for a diet, if you really want to work on it, there is no other thing than go and an experts because we also have experts. We what have a nutrition. Experts. We have a, a gym physical trainer. We also do follow them itself. So you will not take anything that we say as a substitute for, oh, they told me that this I have to do, I have to do this. Every body is different. 100% percentage. Our aim here is to uh, help you give clarity and awareness so that even when you do meet an expert, you ask the right questions. 100%. And more than anything, you don't get cheated on because... That is the worst thing I have been cheated on. Yeah, I mean, lose 10 kilos in two weeks. I, we spent lacks. Yeah. Like, I, we spent lacks since I was in college. I, I wanted to look clean. I wanted to look look fit and muscular. But I spent lacks for it. And, and I wasted a lot of time and uh, energy on people who gave me <laughs> advice that never works. So I want you to prevent that same mistakes making that we did. Right. So let's go. And I'll also share one thing with you. You might be thinking, yeah, who uh, they uh, Sanchari herself doesn't look very healthy. Who is she to tell us what to do and all? I have been recently diagnosed with PCOS, which led me to gain a lot of weight, which led me to get a lot of acne breakup, a lot of hormonal and body changes have come to this, which is why I am in more of a position to tell you don't experiment with your body. Don't uh, go with, you know, the shortest and quickest solution. Fix your body, fix your health at the right time because and anything can happen. And secondly, stress. A large part of this has got to do with stress. Yes. So, you know, I want you to be in a calm environment. I want you to work on your health. And now, before we all start this, we are going to talk about all the problems in our diet, problems in our exercise. We want to talk a lot about it. But there's one thing that I don't want you to forget is that your body constantly, 24-7, since the day you have been born, has been looking after you. No matter what you feed oh, it, I love that. every day it says, I am going to make you, you the best person. 
every day it wakes you up at the time it tries to wake you up it gives you there it has never said you cheated on your diet so i will stop breathing today or it never said that you you know um, ate so much bad shit i'm not going to do it it has been in 100% interest for you your body is beautiful you are beautiful and whatever has happened to it is your actions and they can be reversed so we will start this with a nice warm hug telling our body that it's going to be okay i love you deeply i love you so much and i'm going to take better care of you today i'm sorry that i did so much crap in the in for you i did so much bad things to you but things are going to change and i want you to look at yourself and say i am beautiful because you are no matter what is on the outside you might look into the mirror not like what you see you might not feel uh, the best you might have a very low confidence because of this i know i have been there for years years and years but remember that your body is beautiful and you are beautiful niranjan can't say this to so many women out there without getting chappal from me but i can tell you each one mm-hmm. of you is beautiful and more than anything more than anything what brings to her variety is that she is the one who is so good at giving such candid talks whereas i am the one who's best at sharing facts so i don't have to be her she does not have to be me and the same goes for everything else in our life right we don't have to try and copy anyone else we know that we are as our goals are our goals and our aim always should not be to try and emulate someone 100%. but to be the best version that we can right so three promises first i am beautiful okay second i'm going to take care of myself and third i will not compare myself with anyone okay Absolutely. let's revise it first is i, I am beautiful. beautiful second is i'm going to take better care of myself Sorry. and third is i will not compare myself with anyone even promise the padukone wakes up in the morning and has problems that i look bloated and doing it there's never going to be something like perfect body no woman thinks she's perfect so we will not compare okay let's promise and let's yes hydrate a lot there is no uh-huh. other substitute to this hydrate a lot let's oh, go oh by the way i'm drinking this detox tea that specially aids in my weight loss you want to know its secret you want to know its recipe i mean if you want to know its recipe yes the recipe is there is no such thing exists and i'm going to bust such myths and so much things for you right here all right Anything let's go that detox in front of it is fake <laughs> <laughs> nothing detox There's some ones rang the bell. Okay, so let's go, guys. Let's go with all of you. I welcome into into this special session on exercise and nutrition demystified. See, my approach is very very simple. Just the way that I like to simplify it. I like to simplify everything. I would rather have you implement something that is just have you implement something, even if it's not that. massive i want you to get results that's that's what drives me more than everything else see at some point as you have gone through maneuvered through this complex world of exercise nutrition and something regarding health you must have come across these questions or these thoughts so i want you all to say i okay comment in comment in i in the chat box if this has been you so keep your chat box open and ready and comment in i if this has uh, resonated with you at some time all right let's go number 1 should i exercise or should i diet comment in i if you have ever asked yourself this question if you felt compelled to choose between both or heard conflicting information that some people telling you should only exercise diets don't matter someone a lot of other gurus telling that diet follow this diet no need of exercise comment in i in the chat box if this is you we're going to do this quick all right so let's go let's go into the second one yes ramya my three so many of you did right even i've been there and you and uh, i've been there as well number 2 want you to comment in i if you ever ask yourself this question should i exercise every day to get results i am not getting results because i'm not exercising every day i have i don't have time to exercise every day so i might as well not do it what is the point in walking two times a week it is not going to get me anything if anything you have 
stopped yourself from taking action because you thought that this required such effort that you need to do, spend three hours every day and waste away your whole time, burn away your whole time, comment an I in the chat box. If this, it doesn't matter that uh, maybe right now you might not think this way, but at some point, if you heard such thing or asked such a question, I want you to comment an I. All right. Let's go. Third. At some point in your life, or maybe even currently, you're thinking, I'm exercising regularly, but I'm not seeing results. Maybe right now, this is a problem that a lot of people face. And it saddens me so much that so much people spend so much time in the, uh, in the gym, on the treadmill, but they see absolutely zero results. Or maybe you feel that there is zero results. Yeah. Just one thing. Today we will do one exercise while doing this. Every time you see something that you truly relate with, I want you to raise your hands. That ah. is the least form of exercise I want you to do today. Oh, I love it. Every yes. time you feel, oh, Even this lazy, is... Typing, typing, and typing, if you do it, I can't see you. So turn on your cameras and every time you're like, okay, this is me, you raise your hand. I want all of you to turn on your cameras in this, in, in this case. So many of you have your videos off. I don't understand why. You are also so conscious. I want you to turn on your cameras. Let's go, guys. <laughs> no matter how much I work, the numbers don't change. Right? This is a common thing. This is such a common uh, uh, problem that so many of us face. Let's go. The next one. I lose weight, but then I keep gaining it back. This, you know, it keeps bouncing up and down, cyclical like a yo-yo. And it's so frustrating. At some point you do this, yes, two kilos you lose, then again you come back one week later and in fact you're so afraid of traveling, you're so afraid of uh, traveling, you're so afraid of uh, doing anything outside and nothing happens. Let me Bro, tell you I one smell thing. food and I gain weight sometimes. Let I me smell pizza and gain weight. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing. See, we always like to think that, you know, I'm, I'm traveling and, and, you know, because I'm not being able to get results. I was there. How many of you were there? Part of the Lunavla meetup here. Yes, I, I can see Swapna. I can see Bona. Yes, I can see so many of you here. So, I came, I returned from Lunavla. I saw, I in fact lost a kilo and a half. And I did not talk to him for two days because I gained two kilos. The food there was so tasty. We had dal bati one day, we had Gujarati one day, one day Rajasthani, one day Mediterranean. People were actually asking me, give me a list of the food items. We have never idea. had this. So, you see, the thing is, the problem is that we like to direct our focus on external circumstances and blame that as the reason. But I want to tell you this not as a means to boast, look, I've got this, but I want to give you assurance that it is in your hands. It is in your hands, no matter what others, it is in your hands. And stay with me through the session. I'm going to give you clarity as to why I mean it. All right. Let's go. Let's keep continuing. How many of you are having hard relate to everything that is happening right now? Comment in HR, hard relate, HR. Too hard, Too hard right? Too much hard. Let's go. Hey, have you ever seen, looked through, hopelessly gone through so many diets, so many movements, Tried different, different, so many forms, fruitarian, uh, veganism, the, the next big diet, the next big thing. Tried so many things. Cut out on all your favorite foods. And just with this question, the best way, diet for weight loss. Have you ever been in this place where you have tried some diet and just spent lots of time on it and got frustrated and stopped? Yes, seeking that perfect diet. Yes, in search of the perfect diet. Yes, I can see Bona raising her hands up. Yes, Maitri, Ramya, beautiful. Let's go for the next one. Should I do yoga? Should I do gym? Best form of exercise? Some people will tell you gymming. Only gym will work. There are going to be others who are strongly going to vocalize that. My yoga method is what works. All yeah. Everyone who goes to gym are fools. There's going to be some people who will say, my yoga pose is better, it is Shavasan. <laughs> Shavasan is the best way to lose weight. I do it two hours every day. <laughs> I yes. see from the smile of your face, but they know that it's up to you. See, at the end of the day, if I want to sell my product, I have to tell that others are bad, right? That is the way why you should come 
come to me. Almost everyone who is giving you such polarizing views is coming out of that point of view. And you're going to understand why. Why? You're going to logically understand why none of this is the thing. Quick fat loss. Yes, 20 kilos, 10 kilos in one month. Astronomical numbers in short amount of time. See, all of these are common, common things. Even if someone, this also I've heard that I am thin, I don't need to exercise. See, while all of these are coming, I don't have time. These are all coming out of this uh, certain wishful thinking, I will say. A lot of times it's coming out of wishful thinking that we don't want to put in effort. We want results, but we can't either we cannot understand the effort that is needed or we assume that we know it all. See, honestly, when you don't understand something, it's very difficult. It takes humility to accept. I don't know. Let me find out. So what most often by default, we don't want to do that. And it's just human nature. I'm not blaming it on you. Even I fall trapped to this. Even since I fall trapped to this at times that we don't like to accept the things that are our shortcomings. So we just assume we know or out of our wishful thinking that things just have to be easy. We pick up something that someone says and we like to fit the world into our limited frame of mind. Only to understand that everything that I'm going to share today is going to open up your mind to whole new possibilities. With this awareness that you're going to get today, you will learn how to ask better questions. You will learn how to understand wishful thinking was a science. And that is the main thing here. So we asked all our community members what all they want, what we are doing an exercise on, session on exercise nutrition, what all they want. And we designed this workshop based off everything. This session, I wouldn't even call it a workshop, it's this interactive session, based off everything that people said. And I know these are all your common questions. Everything that I'm mentioning today, these are all the questions that at some point you have asked. You have asked yourself. You have heard, you have questioned, and that has prevented you from making progress. Pre Preeti says, lost five kilos in October, number gained it back in December, right? These are all the common problems. These are all the common problems that we all face. And it, and, and it saddens me to no extent that there is so much conflicting information out there. So it's just difficult to distinguish the myths versus the facts. So in this session, the, this is how we are going to do, okay? On one hand, I'm going to present you. This is a myth. On the other hand, I'm going to tell you. This, on the other hand, this is the fact. Myths versus the facts. All right? Myths versus the facts. So it's like in the, there's this really famous movie, Matrix, where, you know, the hero is asked whether you want to know the truth or whether you want to live in blissful ignorance. And he's given two pills to decide between both. Matrix, it's a really wonderful movie and one with a lot of spiritual implications. And I would, you know, it's something that all of you will be able to resonate because all of you at some point would have been interested in spiritual teachings and I, and it's a really wonderful movie. You're going to resonate deeply. So let's go into this. Myth number one. Okay, myth number one. And this is super important to understand. I need only diet, not exercise is only partially true. I wouldn't say it is a lie because there are go there are uh, going to be uh, there are going to be circumstances when just by adjusting your food, what you're consuming, how much you consume, you will see results. So we lose a little bit of this uh, weight that way, and at some point this must have happened. So a lot everyone who's just you know just stopping eating their regular what they eat and just eating a lot of salads instead will see results it is it is just the truth but it is only partially true yes nutrition just adjusting your diet works but it is not a substitute for exercise and also the opposite i need to and i have been a prey to this okay i am exercising so hard let me eat whatever i want you're going to see zero results you will have some energy that is there because of the workout that you're doing you will have energy but just eating whatever you want, you're going to look just the same. And if eating salad would lose, would help you lose weight, why are cows so fat? Why is the <laughs> rhino so huge? Why are elephants so big? 
Have you ever thought that if only eating vegetables was? Have like, you? Have you wondered? Have you ever wondered eating lettuce was? Ever wondered? Lettuce? Ever wondered why? <laughs> like literally in North India, the insult is bhas. Bhas eats only grass. Then how come if only eating grass is the solution? How are they? Food for thing. thought. Yeah. What about elephants? Right. Uh, let's go. Let's understand this thing here that. When it comes to nutrition and excess, there are percentages. There are different people give different percentages. In my experience, I've seen a fifty fifty percentage difference. And I know that in a similar workshop I've taken, I've also done eighty percentage nutrition, twenty percentage uh, exercise, and that is true in that context. Here, the context is what matters more than everything. That is the session where I focus primarily on nutrition, and so I said, okay, you know, exercise is only a stimulus. Focus more on nutrition. This is where I want to give you a balanced overall information. So understand that we are looking at both sides. Let me tell you what depending I mean. Depending if you go to a physical trainer, he will say it's eighty percent exercise, twenty percent diet. If you go to a nutritionist, they will say it is eighty percent diet and twenty percent nutrition. True. So if you Google online, you will see so many different things and all of it. But both of them you consider are fifty fifty percent. Fifty fifty percentage. And I'll tell you why. See, when you are on when you start eating clean okay that is by eating clean i simply mean avoiding sugars extreme or excess oils which create cholesterol and when you just start eating on uh, more uh, salads i'll say more salads you're going to see these changes number one you'll instantly see that your weight your fat it starts losing it it just happens it just happens and that is a natural part of it secondly you are going to feel more lively thirdly with certain foods your skin is also going to glow so much all of this is going to happen as you just fix the meals that you are taking fix certain foods that you are taking a food that is high in sugar this is what it does to your body your glycemic index which is basically that energy that your body has temporarily it shoots up and when there is no expenditure for that energy see let's say why do marathon all these runners they eat a lot of sugary foods they can because they need that energy to run long marathons whereas us who are mostly spending our time sitting and we are not running a marathon when we eat sugars what happens is energy shoot that happens it stays it has no expenditure i'm going to explain to you the more uh, about caloric deficit and everything in just a while but when this expenditure is not there this let's just understand it as energy expenditure it's not there this excess energy stores in your body as fat that's pretty basic information right yeah. so, i will share this really wonderful video for all of you to watch it will tell you sugar is something no other, no body part no body part wants because sugar beautiful. does no function in your body vitamin nutrient everything even from mango it takes some nutrient but when you have like processed food processed sugar none of your lungs kidneys liver want it so what do they do they throw it directly away from it and then rejected rejected all across the body it becomes visceral fat yes. which which means it settles around your organs and that is when your organs start feeling suffocated imagine when you go to a uh, gym and you pick up weights and you feel tired the okay. same happens to your body, body all the sugar organs. gets and gets processed on it and then it is not able to function the way it is so i'm going to share this video and after you watch it you will never have sugar again it's an animated video but you Beautiful. need to know what happens when sugar does once on your lips forever on your hips okay for <laughs> this i love that code once on your hips forever on your we both and many of you will be asking but how do i stop compulsive eating how do i stop it i want you to remember this one very big thought your tongue is one hundredth of your entire body to satisfy it you are punishing your entire body to satisfy the taste buds that are on you know one inch of your tongue you give your body an entire punishment it has to go on an overdrive to burn the fat that you have done to That's go into it genuinely so, golden insight every time you are eating something think is this for my tongue or is this for my body is this yes okay is this for my tongue is this my body just do it just th- and trust me instinctively everybody knows what is good for them and what is not this is super beautiful that 
your tongue is only few centimeters of our body and our intestines and entire body is so big yet we think only about the tongue and not so much about the body i'll answer your questions on jaggery on wonder foods and everything so stay with me till then we will have obviously have a one on one q and a session and there is quite a lot of information that i want to share with you right now and it is not a nutrition class or it is not a dietitian class guys it yeah. is about the myths yes. for all the questions these are all asked you should ask your nutrition with if like question like is jaggery okay for me it depends on your body type are you insulin resistant are you not are you type 1 are you type 2 what mm -hmm. is your mechanism so all these Those questions are technical is, questions millets good for me millets might be good for somebody once but for somebody who has pcos ragi is not good so these Beautiful. questions this food is good for me this food is not good for me are to be addressed to a specialist only because generalized answers is nothing is generalized answer here Beautiful. Yes. Understood, everyone. It takes nowadays the online. There are available three fifty, four hundred, five hundred rupees once. Take a consultation once. Get your body checked and do it. Don't follow what me say. I am saying what Niranjan is saying. You said me saying pointed at me. Niranjan saying pointed at you. <laughs> okay. So, see, I and similarly, why do you have to exercise? You exercise. so that your body is able to get rid of excess fats and not just that we think only in terms of fats and weight you exercise so that your joints have the durability you exercise so that you will be able to pick up your grandkids as you grow old you exercise so that you don't have to go in a wheelchair as you age you exercise so that just sitting in an indian toilet does not become an olympic feat right you exercise so that you don't feel down and drained both have their uh, reasons just diet okay it's fine it does work but if you want to benefit the if you want to really have it's your body treated with care you really want to live a beautiful long life where your body feels like an asset and not like a liability to you this having both is super important you ask any 50 year old woman you ask any you know aged people 60 70 they will tell you and you tell them do you have any regret in your life mm. there will be two i wish i had married someone better and i wish i had worked on my body when true. i had it time true that true ask that. anyone bona she's here she is now going through all of it you ask any one of them they'll say you i wish i had given my body the care i had given to other people the care i had done for this so if you have time and everybody has time until your last day you have time and you don't know when it is coming it is a chance for you to take better care of yourself okay true absolutely true and it's not late also even for everyone here it is not late and you all still can change the very fact that you're being here there is an intent want you to just act on that intent and just set aside time do it half an hour it's fine so here this entire slide so don't worry about these slides i'll be sharing it with you it's just the same information i'm going to show them this one forward so these these we will send it with yeah, you yeah we'll be sharing it with you so it's the same information that i'm telling just in pictorial format i like to uh, talk to you more rather than just thinking uh, wanting to make you to see pictures so but this will be shared so don't worry about that all right we'll make sure it's there myth number 2 i need to follow special diet to lose weight and i'm telling you this the next 2 minutes pay complete attention because this is going to save you i i cannot tell you how much money it's going to save it's going to save you lots of money just probably in lakhs it's going to save you lots of mental space bandwidth and confusion more than everything else so please 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 pay attention and doctor bills oh yeah if you don't work, spend money on yourself right now tomorrow one doctor will come one medical test will come and they will take away all your money and go <laughs> so you decide what to do pooja says she sees my mom suffer for the it's the same, same, the same. i'm so emotional about this because i lost my mom due to diabetes mm. all because she had from her childhood a very poor diet she never took care of her food 
she would never go on to you know care for her exercise walking all of that which is why i'm so emotional when i see especially senior women in 30s 35 not taking care of themselves True. i wish i could like i was telling somebody i wish i could get up on the roof and scream guys please please don't do it for the way you look do it for the way you will feel later in future yeah, absolutely absolutely it's it's about living a quality life right we if you are a member of soul flow if you are a soul flow participant that means you want a higher quality of life you don't want to be ordinary you don't want to be a uh, mediocre so you want a good life you want a happy life you want to live a life where you are proud of and this is so important your health is so vital because no health there's no you so now here regarding following special diet and this this is exactly i'm going to tell you the, why exactly you're gaining weight and why exactly what exactly leads to losing weight you're all ready for this yes you want to know the secret what actually leads to gain weight and loses weight so every food food that you're eating we were all heard food is fuel for our body yes all of you have heard food is fuel for the body so what is this fuel there is a unit for this fuel it's called calories see if you buy anything any food you will see a label a small nutrition label have you ever noticed nutrition label this much calories this much sugar carbohydrates ever care to read the label yes do you see that it's basically telling that it's mandatory part of every food now now that with people like food pharma yeah, coming recently they have like endorsing this read labels bonvita recently changed its composition because bonvita had a lot of sugar and there's this guy food pharma who bought this to light and bonvita first put a case against them that how dare you say that our product is not good for health mm. but then now bonvita has reduced its sugar you want a case against bonvita because they, years and years and and just imagine years and years nobody told bonvita that why are you giving so much sugar to our kids and calling it healthy 50% sugar rithik roshan endorses bonvita but i can never say i'm actually drink bonvita honestly <laughs> none of these do you think alia do you think katrina kaif drinks masa at masa. home none of the stars who are endorsing to you that this product is good for your health use it for their health for all i know yash will drink green tea and he's not going to drink pepsi so None of this does so see here this unit of energy is called calories and it's so vital to understanding what you're eating because every food that you're eating it is going to give you some energy now here's the key not all food is the same the same when you are eating one bowl of lettuce versus just one spoon of ice cream it is vastly different if you think of it in terms of pure numbers i will think of it this way one bowl of lettuce might be 20 calories okay think 20 calories so i'll just put into that your body needs a certain amount of calories to function for different bodies it's going to be different but just for simplicity of understanding let's say it as 2000 calories okay 2000 calories let's just simplify that and understand when you're eating a meal let's say you're eating a bowl of lettuce it is going to give you 20 calories when you're eating on the other hand one cup of ice cream it is going to give you it could give you anywhere around 200 to 400 calories depending upon what it is do you see almost 10 times difference now you will think a hey, i can eat 2000 my you know my uh, 2000 i will not eat and i'll not eat but no it never happens and the reason is also is that i've already spoken about glycemic index but the reason also is that we hardly compromise on other meals we still continue to eat the same because ice cream is not going to fill you but we will still continue to eat what we were anyways going to eat and ice cream is an add on it's a dessert most of the time so you're just adding i'll show i'll show i wanted us. to tell you this guys this is the volume of thing you need to do so if you are hungry you should definitely not eat a burger you should yes. eat something that is more volume to Absolutely. fill in your stomach we have see you come to a room you're going to be disappointed you're going to not going to find any any food like this you'll find almonds dry fruits I eat egg whites and almonds for snacks. No chips, nothing. So not even cashews. Yeah, almonds and egg whites. 
So the reason mostly, there are of course other reasons, but the reason mostly is this concept of calories. And see here, you're going to be surprised at this fact that everything that you're eating the reason is I have zero self-control. Okay, if it is in my home, I will eat it. So we don't keep anything else only. So here you see that uh, one cup of kale. Kale is a kale is a leaf like lettuce. Okay, one cup is going to be thirty-three calories. On the other hand, you're eating two spoons of peanut butter. It is hundred and eighty-eight calories. Now. Peanut butter is amazing, right? It's, it tastes is great. A lot of people also eat it as a health food. But when you're eating just peanut butter and bread and having it, I mean, you eat a jam, it's just worse. You're doing your body a great disservice. Once you now, there is a lot of calories and charts and everything out there. But if you just simply have the simple understanding that greens, salads, vegetables, okay, greens, green vegetables mostly, and uh, no, non-veg lean meat like chicken breast, fi fish and everything, they generate, they have lower calorie calories per certain quantity than most of other sugary, cheesy, creamy foods. So, this is why it is generally advised if you want to lose weight, eat salads. It is not because salads have some magical property, it is simply because Rather than me explaining to you, you have to consume this much calories and everything. If I simply ask you, substitute rice with salads, what is going to happen? You are going to automatically get that lower calories. Yes. So let's understand, let's try and calculate what is this calories? How much calories do you actually need so that you can just have an understanding over this? Are you all ready? Yes. I'm going to show you find. What is your caloric deficit? What is going to lead to your you losing weight? Ready? So I'm just losing going to drop. Losing weight, maintaining or gaining, depending on what goal. What yes. we are trying to tell you is, like, just imagine a Maruti 800 versus a truck. They will have different energy requirements, different amount of petrol that goes into it. So everybody, so whenever, this is a very big thing. If anyone's diet works and lose weight, I will follow the same diet and I will lose weight. That is a very big mistake you are doing because everybody, although beautiful, is different. What has worked for me, the kind of amount of food I have to eat, me and Niranjan are same weight. Okay. Same weight, I will not tell the number because I'm a little embarrassed, but same weight. But he has to consume almost double the number of calories I consume. Correct. Because his body needs are different. He exercises differently. His body Everything burns different. differently. So don't ask anyone else for their diet. Yes? Because everyone has different needs. Everything is different. Okay, so I want you to all to follow the link. That is, by the way, I love these. Uh, added comments and Sari's adding and everything she's coming telling it's amazing here I want you to follow this link that is here okay follow with me click on it and you're going to I want you all to do this calculation with me right now okay yeah please drop it in the group please drop it in the group you're going to open this window okay let's do this with me so here I want you to use this you will see SI units metric units other units Let's follow metric units because this is what we as Indians follow. I want you to fill this with your details. So as for me, you want to fill me with, fill with yours? Your details, your age. No? Okay. So as for me, I'm 27 years old, male. My height. Mine, it will be more relative. Ah, that's what I asked. Yeah. 31. 31. I have nothing to shame. Fem I am female, you idiot. Female. Yeah. Yeah. Female. 31. You don't know my height. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. 165. It's coming now. That is why you don't, you don't know your wife's height. Shame on you. And your weight is? 76. I lost 2 kilos. So I can put 76. Down. And your activity is mostly your typical activity is light exercises 1 to 3 times a week. Okay. Right? I would have selected moderate. But... Okay. Let's put it as moderate. Okay. No, I, 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 be honest with you guys. It is light for me. 
ஒன்ட்ரிஸ்ட் <laughs> for me let's just find what is out. your coming out guys tell me in the chat box what is your maintenance calorie don't go with weight loss and all of this what now what is your maintenance what is your maintenance yeah mine is also more or less the same so yours is not light yours is very intense exercise yeah, yeah. Very, very active intense exercise 6 to 7 times a week Do people no. left the gym seeing how hard you not exercise not extra active this one yeah very intense see you notice because i follow an intense exercise routine i can eat more if i want to maintain even my weight loss is probably close to my extreme weight loss is close to sanchari's maintenance this is why you should not follow exactly what someone else is doing and you should understand your body and it depends on your height also it is bmr all of this is really really important so always and and the next time you go to a dietitian and they give you a diet without hearing your weight, weight. without hearing your without hearing your height beautiful insight your uh, activity level no it is fake if beautiful. somebody is yes. telling you buy this proven weight loss formula from me in 5 days you know it's fake because everybody is different beautiful yes see this is so so important and thank you so much sincerely for bringing this to light because i want you to understand that this fact once you know you can exactly tell a lie when someone is trying to deceive you versus when it is a truth you need to understand that your height your past history everything all of this comes into pictures and just giving one diet chart is not going to cut it you need to have this understanding so next time you're going to consult dietitian you can show this this save this link i want you to show this and tell them see this is my result according to this how much what should i eat so that i can fit within this and then you know and i know you all want to immediately go for extreme but i would always recommend you go for mild mild is always best because number one reason is because you're not going to it's not going to be a sudden change so there is no rebound see when you're going for extreme that means it's going to require drastic changes uh, on your lifestyle and most of us don't have the bandwidth for that yeah going on to an extreme diet is telling your maruti 800 to go out at an 80 km per hour yeah he suddenly itne din to i was asking you to do 20 but today yeah. you have to run at fastest speed oh, that body that. will go in shock kya ho raha hai mere sath ye what is this happening imagine if you what an equivalent to it is one day you are doing second class maths and second day you tell your child to do oh, do 12th class maths how will it do of course it might become he might become smarter in a few days but what happens to it he goes in a shock that one your body goes in a secondly the kind of discipline that's required to maintain i don't think even i have that so let's just let's try and understand that mild is the best way to go and once you understand this concept of caloric deficit your life becomes so much more simpler are you ready to move on to the next part of this session yes now here the trick here is that as you go on a weight loss journey okay as you go on a weight loss journey i later distinguish between the difference difference in weight and fat i'm going to show you that what is the difference between weight versus fat because these are two different things you need to understand that what your ideal strategy should be is you need to consume food that are low on calories and eat more of it don't get greedy tell like okay no uh one bowl of kale is only 33 calories so i'll eat three bowls of kale in a day and only 100 calories what it is essentially going to happen is that your body is going to go have so many diseases because it's not even having enough energy to function uh on a regular your regular activities your routine activities and, and this is what happens also you are yes. like today breakfast i had only one apple lunch i had only one cucumber so i deserve myself this treat dinner may i will order a bowl of chow mein and eat how many of you have been guilty of this oh wow morning yes. i have done so good yaar i deserve this 
I am such good. Or two days. I have gone on two days diet. Let I me now eat a creamy cheesy pasta. <laughs> Let me eat an ice cream. I have done my body a huge favor by two Let days of dieting. I, 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 I love myself. This is my act of self-care. And, and funny, no of offense is what happens on Karwa Chauk. <laughs> One day women are dieting. <laughs> dieting. See, today is my day to detox. We are Karwa dieting. Chauk. Detox. Sham ko second. I'm so hungry. Let's go out and eat. I love I the Karwa Chauk exam. Oh my God. I'm, my tears are coming. Karwa Chauk. See, so what do you have to understand this? Even as you eat these low calorie foods, now you understood what low calories is. Eat more of it because I want you to understand that even if you can't, you possibly cannot eat 10 bowls of kale. Even if you try, you can't. You will not have the time or the just the uh, effort to sit and eat is so much you won't do. You shouldn't eat it because it is very bad farts. Okay, yeah. don't eat it. Don't <laughs> eat three bowls. Lettuce or anything. But, but see, I want you to understand that 330 calories is probably one bowl of dal chawal. So, and once you understand this, your uh, this it becomes so much more simpler. So focus on this low calories, high this food, and similarly see all of this. Most of the foods what we eat as treat ourselves, sugars, chocolates, they're all extremely high calories. And this is very important to understand if you're serious about weight goals. That let's say you go to Starbucks, you want to have a coffee. Our most it's the conversations that we have. Most of us will be like, okay, I've been to Starbucks. Let me treat myself. Let me have one. Let me have this uh, amazing best coffee that is there. That is going to be 600 calories. On the other hand, the green tea is probably going to be less than 50 calories. If you're serious about weight goals, you need to understand and actively avoid these extremely dense foods. And that is what is super, super important, guys. Substitute it with more foods that are low on calories, this entire thing is going to be given to you. So you can actually refer it and you can move forward. So shall we move forward to the next one, guys? Yes. Comment in. Yes. Promise. Promise. Let's and go. Don't feel guilty. Yaar. Kiya tha. Don't beat yourself up. Maybe you didn't have this right knowledge. Maybe you didn't have soul flow back then to tell you. But now promise yourself you are not going to do it. It's okay to make mistakes when you are not aware, but when you know and you do it, when you, after this workshop, you're like, oh, who will cook now? It's too late now. Let me make Maggie and eat. This is where the wrong mistake happens. Don't get into these patterns again. So, all right. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go on to the next one here. The next myth. See, so what's the punchline here? The punchline is that the best diet, to answer your question of the best diet, understand that no matter whatever diet you're following, every effective diet has some form of caloric deficit and once you are able to consistently maintain, you will see results. That's just it. So in order to truly help you achieve your goals, we have created a whole meal plan so you don't feel, you don't have you don't have the problem. You are able to maintain consistency. It's in the group. Can you share it? Yeah, I will Forward. share it after the class. Don't distract me. Okay. And I have, I'll tell you how me and so Fakebar stop sharing. So me and Niranjan also got it because we have so many classes and all of it. We got into this rut of not of eating, ordering from outside. Hmm. Even though we would order salads only, but salads have mayonnaise in it. They have a lot of sugar in it, and it is very difficult to, uh, you know, get healthy food out there because they would put all their oil. It's correct, you can't correct. control your diet if you are eating outside. Very difficult. So me and Niranjan, or it becomes extremely expensive. Expensive, yeah. That is what industry has done. They have made health food expensive, expensive. and uh, you know processed food more accessible. <laughs> you go to a market, you go to McDonald's, true, salad true, true, there true. is for two fifty, but the burger is for fifty rupees. So me and Niranjan made this very big resolution. This year, we are going to wake up in the morning and fix all three meals of the day. We've been we doing it successfully for three days, but we are super happy with the results. Change the, the way, you know, with three days, our period of time is saving more and all. So one thing that I do very efficiently and I love myself for doing it is meal planning and prepping. So like the Sunday after we have a wonderful class with the Lifecraft people on social media and all of it, I'm, we are going to go to the Hypermart and I have a proper list of what we are going to eat the next week. 
according to it what to buy where to buy and i'm going to go there meal plan and just buy grocery according to what is there and spend half a day fixing everything no decision dilemma problem happens in when you don't have a plan what to eat for lunch so you are like bread kha lete hain maggi kha lete hain right. kaun banayega true, but true, when true. you have a plan in front which says wednesday lunch you will eat a salad and a soup you will do it right so just spend and especially for mothers and people who are running families spend our time planning your meals for the week it literally takes half an hour you don't have to the whole decision paralysis of what i need to cook today morning is eliminated and that's going to give you so much more bandwidth and more that leads me to the next one how many of you will do it yes meal plan you don't have to do anything fancy just sit and write today i will eat rajma even if you don't know the healthy version salads and soups nahi khane hai but rajma roti hi khana hai write it down how many of you will do it yes ta so a lot of times when we are on a physical transformation journey here's what we do we stand on a weight scale okay we see some difference we are very happy two weeks it happens third week you don't see difference you're like okay it will happen then next time you stand it is increased then suddenly you go into a shock you're seeing something has happened you go into a panic mode then again you see it's lowered then again it increases or sometimes it just hits a plateau and you don't know what to do then you come back up and say this is that is why i don't diet don't and exercise nothing, nothing happens nothing happens my body is such that no matter what, what i do, I do. it's not work how many of you have gone this yes this is not working let's leave this true right two weeks i have done it and it's not happening Morning. nothing is happening two it's weeks quit it uh, i've been exercising for two weeks i'm not seeing any changes right you see here let's i want you to understand clearly the difference between weight loss versus fat loss our body our body's mass total mass consists of our weight of our skeleton our tissues our blood vessels and everything and it our can, parents expectations also that is the biggest weight in us that, that is the biggest weight right over overhead <laughs> become an atlas then there is a there is a weight of your uh, lean tissue there is the weight of your muscle so as to say then there is the weight of your fat the fat is the fluffy part of your body now here the thing is that your body when you lose weight okay when you're trying to lose weight your aim here is not to actually lose weight your aim here is to lose a fluffy part which you perceive as ugly how many of you understand this your aim is not to lose weight actually when you say you want to lose weight you just say that you cut an arm off you will lose so much weight do you want to do that you don't want that right you cut your leg, leg so off you half your body weight will go half your body weight do you want that no right you don't want so here your aim is to lose the change your body composition and not lose it so now a lot of time especially when you're gymming or someone who's just getting into yoga or some form of exercise what happens is your muscles start increasing and here's the interesting thing when your muscle mass is increasing your weight increases over the past 3 months i have been on a on a on a journey to lose my fat change my body composition and i have been successful in cutting off body fat in fact i went from over 30 percentage now i'm closer to 25 percentage i still have a long way to go but i'm getting there but my weight has still more or less remained steady when i look at myself in the mirror huge difference weight scale no difference so here i want you to understand that it is not so much about changing your weight and don't get demotivated if you are not losing weight in fact your journey if you see it is going to look like this and and my dear woman when you start losing you get that instant boost of confidence ki oh yes. in 3 days when you diet these trash diets that give you oh, yeah. look great in your me- in the lenga take my 5 day Crazy detox stuff. plan let's do 3 day juice fast let's do all of it you see a drastic lose in your weight you are like oh god i lost 1.5 kg this is working what is happening in your body is you are losing water 
water retention it's losing most of that it goes in the first 3 days when you feel oh detox mere body se sab nikal raha hai all the harmful burger is going away you are losing your water true true okay true. so the first initial boost push that you get is water loss not fat loss water loss so don't take it as a hype that my diet is working i need to continue there are so many people who have this chapati diet one chapati every day i ate and then i lost so much weight one cucumber i am eating for 3 days i'm doing i'm doing a juice fast it's doing it's the water weight that is going and see this also explains why i remember i earlier told you about why you should not eat three bowls of lettuce and think that this is my meal the reason for this is also is that when everyone whom you perceive as attractive and lean and trim these are people with a balanced muscle composition they have muscles they are maintaining the muscles in the body while losing the fluffy part the, the fat and which is why they look lean and in shape when you follow these crash diets what happens is you also lose muscle when you lose muscle you might look small but you still appear soft which overall your body is still going to look the same but you're only going to feel weaker please 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 go for uh, don't follow all these crash things you're just going to dis- you're just going to destroy you want to show no i was showing this is muscle the part of you that is tight True. that is that is the muscle that is the muscle i want you all to do this like cut and see this is the muscle that is the difference this is good this is cool cool this is bad you don't get to say it is bad this is my <laughs> the i <laughs> beautiful <laughs> but this thing that sad yes is it and in old age when you are going to lose a lot of your muscle when your body will naturally do this is the part that sags muscles are the ones that hold you firm firm okay and as you grow older you need muscles for every activity you know even a simple act of getting up from the chair you are using you are doing the movement of squats you still need to activate leg muscles and what happens is that when you are losing muscles your body becomes weak which is why as we grow old a lot of people who grow old have knee pain they are not able to walk they are not able to climb stairs and this is what happens so take care of your muscles and ignore one muscle which muscle your tongue oh. ignore it ignore this small muscle of your tongue and focus on the big important muscles of your body how many of you are loving these uh, you know this sanchari says i'll tell bad jokes but how many of you are loving these these tidbits that sanchari is dropping it just makes it so much more so interesting all those who are loving me please promise tomorrow morning you will do some form of workout that is your <laughs> sincerest form of thank you to me yeah yeah i can imagine if it has been my session it would have been so dry and boring it would have been like a college lecture but oh my god you make it so so fun. you have to work out tomorrow if you respect and like what i'm saying you will have to do it okay i want you to remember that it is a game of long term a lot of reasons why we don't achieve our goals is same for a business as well you tend to see there is a very famous story where one person was digging for gold he gave up at the last minute when just two more minutes he could have found the gold and this is what happens a lot of time your body there is a fluctuation that happens in weight but still your body is still losing fat and if you consistently stick to the program you will see change you will see differences you will see difference in your composition always think long term don't think short term don't follow crash diets remember that while your weight fluctuates your fat will constantly you will be able to lose if you are on the right track all right and sister stop measuring your weight every day please stop measuring your weight every day i know many women when they start their diet they start their exercise every day they will see the weight your weight depends on what part of menstrual cycle you are on True. your weight depends on how much sleep you have got it depends on depends what meal you ate that day absolutely so this habit of measuring yourself weight. every day and if any dietitian tells you to do that no it's fake it's fake because your body in in general one kilo one half an kilo from morning to do it will vary how much you sweated what is the weather what is you have eaten if you eat a lot of watermelon you will show a lot of weight because it retains water carbohydrates do it so stop measuring your weight every day if you have a weighing scale at home and every day you are putting yourself 
noting it down and then one day, puri baba, what did I do with loss? Stop it is, it. you're Stop just, it. you're just wasting your energy punishing on yourself. punishing yourself. See, this is what will happen. One day your weight is 72, next day it will be 71, one week it will be 71. But overall, as you see, in three weeks time, you'll see difference. So for me personally, it makes sense to take your measure your weight once every two weeks. Don't Once. measure your weight, yeah. Measure your inches. Inches. Your weight uh -huh. scale might be lying. Measure your inches. inches. You but want to lose that tummy fat. You want to lose that. Measure your inches. Don't go by this. The weight test. Yes. And in weight, you are going to see differences only over the long term. Or maybe if you are someone who's going to the gym, you might not see only. So please remember, it is a lot of times it is a lack of focus that. Start, that prevents us from moving forward in life and I don't want you to do that. By the way, please hydrate. I, I have forgotten to hydrate in excitement. Oh my God. Sorry. How many of your minds are already blown? Comment in MB. MB in the chat box. MB. Water is something you can drink a lot. Not a lot, just the required prescribed amount. But no calories. So, I and one hack. Whenever you have a craving, mm. bhi craving hota hai na, mm. have a glass of water and then think, do I still have it? Take that golden tip. Golden tip. Golden tip. Golden tip. If you have to keep Swiggy app, go and remove its notifications because the richest, because the smartest people in the world are, are trying to it. make you buy more things. So Swiggy and Zomato employ the smartest minds to give out such good prompts that sound like, Are, mujh se baat kar rahe. Sanchari, Gulab Jamun is waiting for you. Today, no biryani, here is a code. Use this and doing it. India India has won. You buy it. So please disable notifications from these. It's raining. Are... It's time for its uh, hot samosa. And I'll tell you something because I work with these people, Zomato and Swiggy. They track your phone usage mm. based on your algorithm on how often you order, what you order. They send you customized notifications. They know exactly even before you do that you are going to crave for a food right now and do hungry. Do that. Did Absolutely. You know, I was mind blown when I learned about this. So all the intelligent minds are trying to fool you and get you to buy. You have to be smarter. You have to disable them. Keep it only on laptop. Don't keep it in phone. Uh, Don't just disable the notifications and use them when you need it. That's it. And that in itself is going to change a lot of things for you. Now let's understand this. This leads me to the most interesting part of all about spot reduction. How many of you at some point have thought, has said this? I just want to lose belly fat. My double chin. Oh, My double, double chin. Uh, hata de. Hata de. Double chin, belly fat, right? Double chin, belly fat. So... This spot reduction is a myth and I'm going to tell you why. By spot reduction, I mean just losing fat in one part. My hands are too fat. I just want to make, I want to adjust that. My face is too thick. I want to adjust that. See this, when you go to the gym, just today when we went to the gym, we saw every time we go to the gym, we see people hopelessly doing this workout, this exercise. And you know, it shouldn't have taken a picture of me in Ranjan in the morning. It's not you. Crunches. crunches. You see people do this crunches and I have been there. You will not believe the first gym that I went, the trainer made me do 1500 crunches. 1500 non-stop. I'm not joking. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it ruins your back. I had a strong back, so it's not a problem. But it's, and this, these are by trainers in the gym. So just imagine about us mortals. So, drink see. this tea, green tea, and lose your tummy, tummy. fat. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just... Ah. Shraddha Kapoor is endorsing shamelessly this. That means she does, she would not, not go to a trainer. She'll not do. She'll just drink green tea. Green tea, and it goes... See, I want you to think of your body like a swimming pool. Okay? Your body's fat composition. Okay? It is like a swimming pool. Now, tell me this. Okay, answer yes or no. In this pool, on the left, on the center alone, I want to remove some water and keep every other place just the way it is. Is that possible or not? Yes or no? I, of course, uh, I am not using any special apparatus or magic here. It's not possible, right? Not possible, right? Any doubt on this? Not possible. 
the same you thing you do susu in one end of pool it will spread to the entire pool you can't say i'll do it only where i am swimming the same thing happens in your body as well your fat your body fat is distributed throughout your body your arms your legs your tummy your chin cheeks and everything and be, because of genetics some it just shows more in some parts like when you take our example alone i never have a puffed up cheek or a double chin it does not happen for me for me it's the belly that comes up like so when you know if i if i if i get bloated it's the belly that comes most for sanchari my phone is confused with the face id because every single day my face changes depend you must have yeah, yeah, over all this over time, time. <laughs> for these webinars when i see the youtube thumbnail in one it is like this in yes. one it is susa wa arm in one it is like a puff watermelon my face is the first to get bloated and wherever it does so it's different for different people now here i want you to understand when you're on a when you are on a no longer use weight loss journey when you're on a fat loss journey okay please let, now we know we are aware we are enlightened we do we know the difference between weight and fat when you are on a fat loss journey you are depending on your genetics it first reflects in certain parts and then finally it comes for some people it first your upper body is going to get lean and then it slowly it starts showing in the lower body for others it is different so understand that spot reduction is a myth and if anyone is endorsing that to you they are they are lying to you they have some agenda that they want to they want to fulfill out of you let's go yes ready no more spot reduction no more just reducing double chin or belly fat and i don't know if you know niranjan sauna belt uh, uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Belt and do, then there were these machines mm. like a, a I also remember go to the gym and would vibrate. Put vibrate. The vibrator, that, that used to be and there, and there are these machines vibrate. in the gym where you've seen this fold then and then they twist your hips. I will do thousand of this little change. It is the most useless thing. Most useless thing. The creams, spot your celluloid creams that you put and lose stubborn of this. By the way, Rakhi ji has said a very nice thing: metabolism. Mm, yes. yes. Metabolism is a very big factor, and that is what. i will tell you my body is so ruined because i've ruined its metabolism yeah. metabolism is how effectively it uses your calories up some people feel hungry very quick very fast ki after it some people don't feel hungry for a long time some people lose weight in uh, like this yes. some people take a lot of time yeah. it is your Metab- bmr basal me- uh, your metabolism metabolic genetic is heavily dependent on genetics dipika padukone's father prakash padukone was a tennis player his her entire family is a family of athletes. athletes they all have genetics that help them control it of course there are things like black coffee all of these that can boost it but more or less it's what you have been blessed with another and one thing to blame your parents for if you are gaining weight see, very quickly. and i want you to understand this is the importance of body positivity movement that body i want you to understand body positivity is not endorsing being fat body positivity simply means understand that your body natures are different and your fitness goal should not be i want to look like karina kapoor your fitness goal should be that i want to be the best version that i can and it would be very foolish for me to look like someone else and sanchari to look like someone else it is just that let's not let's not get into wishful thinking let's understand that our body is doing the best to help us and we want to do best for it your body's function is not anushka sharma yes your body's function is not to look pretty your body has been gifted to you so that it works efficiently and keeps you in the going on in the long run so, so couple of i want to say something here since you mentioned body positive many of you follow body positive followers on instagram yes. or facebook most of the reason i'll be very saying very triggering things but you need to hear it from it you are following to get validation on the fact that chalo yaar i don't need to mm. work out she is saying it's okay to be fat it's okay to it be do not. it i am also there body positivity does not mean that i don't have to work out or eat well because i am the beautiful the way i am true body positivity means i am work in progress today i am not the ideal weight tomorrow i will be but today also i am beautiful tomorrow also i'll be beautiful 
it does yes. not mean that i don't have to diet i don't have to exercise i am a princess i look it means i am working on myself but each day i am working on you're myself grateful. i am beautiful you're grateful and you are focused you are a work in progress and you appreciate yourself for where you are but you are not complacent this is the difference yes so kalpana will answer all your one on one questions towards the end so stay with me and we will go forward all right see now with this i have spoken most of the things about weight fat nutrition and everything now one thing is going to be that what about exercise what of exercise so don't worry i'm going going to also tell you and bust the myths about exercise when we talk about exercise i or there is always a polarity the should i do yoga some people will say walking is the best exercise eat anything just walk some of them are going to tell you that no 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 you should come to gym if you are not coming to the gym you are wasting your time there are going to be others who are telling you follow this yoga movement you should do 180 surya namaskars only that is going to be effective right you all heard this yes comment in 100 if you 100 percentage you heard such kind of advice or this anywhere you you heard such opinions being thrown away right are you ready to understand the difference between yoga versus walking versus exercise Yes. Versus strength by exercising, he is meaning strength. By training, strength, yeah, yeah. Training. By strength training. Strength training. Are you ready to understand what the why each of these? Yes. Let's go. See, first thing. This is what I want you to understand that. Oh, just, just by the way, just just one thing because this is something many people have a concern misconception around. Mm -hmm. turning of the fan and sitting is not losing weight there is such like that sweat. yeah people in the gym wear sweatshirts don't you know why do they they feel if they sweat more it is they are losing weight oh. many people turn off the everything and they are like if i sit and sweat that is me losing weight i also did it for a very long time that is not going to do sweat you need to i have not even heard of to this. lose weight your heart needs to go out to a certain yes. rate yes you need to have it into a high pace and then only when you sweat you'll do it i know many people and even i have done this where many sweaters go to the gym and i will burn more calories because i'm sweating you are in fact losing salts and important body fluids so and dehydrate yourself you just going to be tired and not actually Eat, right eat, so this off. is not that kind of sweat you need to raise your heart to a certain level then it goes into energy burning mode so so and see and this is exactly what happens when you do okay gymming versus walking versus yoga which is actually the better better of all let's go let's which... go number 1 this is what happens when you do yoga the benefits of doing yoga what is it your focus is every benefit that we spoke about exercise your brain function is going to improve your organs are going to function better you're going to have a better appetite your bones are going to get stronger joints are going to be more durable better sleep and of course the body shape is going to improve your muscles your strength you'll be able to carry things up be better by the way one incentive to all of you tomorrow i don't know many of you will know habilt has a yoga challenge in tomorrow where they are going to break a guinness, guinness record together oh again so yeah he again he is breaking record three lakhs oh, so somebody might what is the number a, last time but somebody can drop a link here for this so if you Beautiful. want to start tomorrow itself it you can start by breaking a record on the day one what a boost it would be if nothing you can say my january was awesome because i broke a world record right so you can start from tomorrow itself doing this one big advantage because yoga personally i don't see it as a physical exercise mm. i see it as a mental exercise it's for you to become stronger in your mental and doing it so it is just such so much involvement of everything and i keep saying hey, to myself yoga say yoga if there is one thing that i really thank that myself is, uh... is starting yoga there were times when i started yoga and i would like kya baithe hue hai fan dekh rahe hai just simply sitting doing this i went into this but yoga is just a very very beautiful thing to have in your life i want you to understand that there are different types and degrees in yoga so there is hatha yoga which is the physical movement and in hatha yoga there are different degrees 
there are movements that require rigorous physical activity and then there are more slower paced movements but the philosophy of yoga was itself found to build a to make you a better discipline of better spiritual seeker better disciplined person and not so much focused on weight, uh, weight loss. loss or because back then obesity was never even an issue everyone just moved and walked where is obesity coming so it is more focused on improving you uh, making you a more disciplined person but no, yet a way of life right. not a workout not a you know physical workout okay. to compute, do it it's a way of life it's a discipline it's a discipline and here when you you are doing strength training this is what happens your mood boosts your muscles get stronger your respiratory health improves it is so much more about the physical aspect of your body and of course there is the aspects like mental focus discipline and all of these also happens but when you do why some people prefer yoga over physical activity like for example sanchari is a bigger fan of yoga because she is uh, seeking the mental emotional benefits that she can get out of it i on the other hand i'm seeking the more physical benefits that i can get out of exercise and my goal is flexibility yes. my goal is not being able to, to lift, lift a certain amount or feel that pump that people do people do my goal in fact i've written it in my journal also is at the end of the year to do an inverted head stand i would love that i bend so that i don't break for me yoga is more of i want to i want uh, my body to be more flexible and i'm ready to go in a slower pace to lose weight with with this and when you're doing walking which is the third most common form of exercise that we all want to do walking also it helps you again all the benefits of exercise you're going to get and here the difference why lot of people endorse each part is very different and i'm going to tell you why one if you're doing strength training and you're doing strength training let's say i have 45 minutes to do three forms when i'm doing strength training it becomes so much more easier through strength training to go more intense and that helps me in a uh, burn more calories we have spoken about calories that just helps me burn more calories and that is one of the it just becomes more easier generally most yoga most forms of practice yoga are not that intense it is mostly stretching and it generally does not allow you to get that kind of energy expenditure so if you have 45 minutes instead of doing uh, 20 rounds of yoga uh, surya namaskar 40 rounds of surya namaskar mm -hmm. rather do 40 minutes of strength training and cardio because you will be working on many more different body parts Correct. and different this rather than just focused on one Correct. but if you are somebody who wants to look for discipline in life who wants to you know have that more of a healing in with you maybe you know more of your diseases and you want to work on it then it is when you internal organs you emotional balance and more of that yes so let's not keep unrealistic expectations just saying that i'm doing yoga every day and you know yoga is better than and strength training none of that is true each has its own benefits and you are making an informed decision as to why is it that you want to do something let's go yes ready is it getting too overwhelming or are you all able to follow along in original patanjali sutras yoga sutra has never mentioned there is yoga for weight loss yes it has just been modified and doing it ki let's do some then doing it now Where it is there? now the there are different variants there is broga there is puppy yeah. poga all of these fun Hacking fun ways yoga from aerial yoga yeah aerial yoga and everything the origins are different and let's understand the context for everything before judging any but niranjan one thing you did not tell me are yaar you forgot to say what if i do are... if i do strength training i will get boyish manly muscles oh I yeah i start let's... looking manly if i lift weights let's understand that let's understand this let's How break down you have felt this whenever you wanted to go to gym you have heard one friend or the other but you start looking manly or you have told yourself but i don't want to look like those women with abs and women they look so manly i want to look cute and uh, yeah nice. you you look at like yes. you look at those models looking like uh, she hulk and you think that that is how yeah, you're going to look sahi banna 
first of all they put themselves to extreme discipline and work to for you to look like that it will take many years many and, years and effort and secondly the biggest hormone that increases that level of muscle mass is testosterone in a woman the testosterone levels are one tenth to that of a man and even if you tried unless you took all those additional hormones you will not look like that in fact just exercising regularly is going to make you look like hema malini perhaps <laughs> right old you hema malini don't worry you are not going to look manly because you go to you lift weights training if anybody tells you that you send them to us yeah i mean send them to us and we are going to set them straight mm-hmm. okay okay so you can understand that typically you know strength training it's it's more extreme and that's that's why some people prefer that and of course it's your your difference and your thing and see this this we are now almost getting to the end of the session but i want to i feel it's so important to tell you this that now after having learned so much about this understand that whether you want to gain weight okay gain fat or gain weight or lose fat it is a game of balancing between caloric input versus caloric expenditure in simple terms the energy that you're getting out of the foods is more than the energy you're spending on a day to day basis you will get bigger on the other hand the energy output that you have is more than the energy input you get smaller is that simplified enough no i think it is but the main thing is you have to spend more than you have okay yes but you have to spend more than this if yes. you are uh, if you are eating 200 200 calorie ka ek parotha you will have to work out harder in the gym okay but this is again another misconception today i ate paratha because i will work out one extra uh, oh uh, yeah in yeah the gym so it's okay and niranjan also does it sometimes to be honest ki i am going to eat an ice cream tomorrow i will compensate by going to the gym more so here's what happens let's say i go running okay i go running and my running is i don't walk i actually run i i run and i run for 45 minutes i run the total calorie expenditure that i have the energy i burn is approximately 200 to 220 calories for my activity which is the same that i get from one cup of ice cream or three rotis so you understand if your aim is to lose fat it would actually be smarter for you to cut out such junk from your eating than trying to overcompensate with exercise because it is for most people it is not possible and those who eat more are bodybuilders who want to be began for them it's a very different game altogether i'm not getting into that at all today it does not apply to most of us and you don't have to understand but still for most on, uh, of us understand that you want to, to the biggest summary and take away from all of this is that number 1 eat sensibly don't feed yourself with junk by junk i mean foods that are extreme creamy cheesy extreme sugary processed, processed. avoid them as much as possible number 2 follow whatever you are following follow something that you can follow consistently don't try these special diets because then you will eventually crash the best diet is the diet that you can do consistently, consistently. and for you ladies especially you are there yes. a good diet is something that you and your family both can follow True. because it is going to take a lot of resistance ki i will cook something for myself my family Keep will eat simple. something else you will get resistance you will get temptated temptations it will be very difficult to hold it in a long time have do a diet that is easily cooked those there are so many diets nowadays that say you can't eat uh, the next day you can't keep it you have to eat fresh eat within one hour of doing that that puts a lot of uh, effort in this you are working woman you might have home duties it is not simply possible to get into that kind of this 
Third, a diet that you can afford. Yes. When somebody puts in, you'll so have to important. eat kale into this, you will have to eat certain this, all of this. It is very difficult to do it on a long term. You can lose weight eating your ghar ka chawal, ghar ka roti. All of this can be done. Make little substitutes that matter. Every time you put that two teaspoons of ghee to get it make tasty, put a little less. Every time you drink that chai with two cups of sugar, sugar take cut, that, out sugar. cut out that cut sugar. Out sugar. Every time you are eating your, you know, you start eating a big plate of butter chicken, before that eat one whole cucumber. Small changes do it. Don't do these fancy diets. I have to buy this. I have to mm. buy that. Because that you can't do in the long run. I have tried. Niranjan has tried. It is very difficult it's, to it's get It's not possible. That. And in circumstance, in, in when a circumstance does arise that you have to eat foods, let's say you want to prepare, a function is happening. You want to prepare a tasty, tasty food for everyone. And you would also want to eat that your best approach will not be to avoid it because then that will just create a lot of resistance and craving for later. Portion control. Eat less. When we all went to Lonavla, what I did is, I ate all the foods that everyone ate. I didn't have anything special. But I just reduced the quantity and the portion. And that is what worked for me. And that is what is going to work for most of it. Now here... You are a fool. You missed out Bonaji's wonderful cake. I had it. I had some of it. So now here, I got a taste of it. Now here, the conversation we which we, we have with our mind is very, very important. Me and Sansari were discussing this after coming. It's very interesting. Because, let's say, you go to a function and you find really amazing food. The conversation that you typically have, what prevents you from controlling your food intake? And the conversation you have is, okay, now... I have this function. This is not a chance I'm going to get every time. I'm getting it for free. Let me make the most out of it. I have given 2000 rupees ka gift to the bride and groom. I have to eat at least worth 1000 rupees here. Yeah, That's right. Okay. I have come here. I have paid so much. Let me make the most out of it. And if your aim is to get results, make a physical transformation, then you're doing yourself a disservice because see, it is all about the conversations and the priorities we set. Three things that everybody says is Kal se pakka yaar, aaj uh, last yeah. time. How many times in the last year did you say, Aaj last time I'm doing this, Kal se nahi. Pukka se pukka The second is, Ab main bahar aayu, restaurant mein I have come, I can't eat salad. No, I'm not going to pay 500 rupees to eat salad. I will eat the most tastiest, creamiest thing there. Because I've come out to do. The third thing that you say to yourself is, well, if I've come to a marriage, this is something I'm novelty. I will never get it again. Ah, yes, yes, this yes. This is yes. the speciality of this place. When you go to buffet, when you go to buffet, you want to eat everything, like mountain loads of everything. And you want to make the most out of it. You want to try every single dessert. Because why? This is a chance I don't get every time. See, let's understand that. None of us are living in such poverty that we cannot afford to buy a cake whenever we want to have. Fortunately, we all can afford to get a cake slice whenever we want. Now, the, the question is, it is what is the priority? Your priority, your priority is to have, to get, to look in the best shape of your life. And when that is your priority, this is going to have to take a back seat. At the end of the day, remember... This has to take a back seat. This has to take a back the seat. The tip of the tongue that keeps saying, Hale, or gulab jamun, one more, one more. This has to take a back seat. Take a back seat. Think of the long, long intestines in your stomach. Correct, correct. So, at the end of the day, please remember that it is a game of focus, discipline, and more than anything, staying consistent and making a lot of sacrifices. Not sacrifices, Niranjan, swaps. The swaps. word is swap. Yes, you are not swap. sacrificing Spicing. anything. Okay, sacrificing that's the wrong word. Something good you are leaving. You are doing swaps. True. Leaving an ice cream is not a sacrifice. True. Leaving an ice cream is a swap that you make instead of bringing a healthy thing inside. In So here, once you understand this, you will obviously come to make decisions that are going to work in your favor rather than working against you. And I wish you all the very best to do that. With this, 
I conclude everything that I wanted to clarify in this session. But of course, I will be stay. We will be staying back. We'll be answering your doubts one on one. Every question that you have, you can ask. We will give you as much time as. How many of you already feel pumped? How many of you feel pumped? Because of that, we have been able to do this webinar as a success. I'm Avoid the buffet order. Alert. How many of you feel? A solid energy already. Comment in I if you I, feel I, yes. yes. I feel this pump. We can do this. Feel more healthy. To yes. To work out more. How many of you feel it? Deep I know the right things. I know the right things, and I'm no longer going to be cheated. I am going to do the right things. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to treat my body with more respect. I am going to work more on tomorrow rather than what I'm going to get today. Many of you feel it. I see only three, four people saying I. What about the rest? You are going to go back and then only you are going to go back to your habits, or you don't feel pumped, or you don't want to do with your body. What about you all? I want to write everyone. I want you to tell me that you feel you are, are going to take care of your body better. Yes, all of you. You are going to give your body is working tirelessly to give you the best quality of life. Every time it every day it doesn't say आज इसने गंदा खाया है I will not breathe properly. You owe it to your body. You owe it to every cell of it. And one thing that I want you to take out your mind इतने से क्या होगा that itna is itna for you but in your body it is a lot okay so even True. small this itne se kya hoga itne se kya hoga do it True. do it honestly be honest to yourself and small decisions it is going to affect the way you are thinking and everything like we think it is small but it is going to affect in the long run so i know many of you are in the life craft group of uh, health uh, warriors also start doing it i know there is no activity in the group start building out all of it platinum okay. is there start being accountable you have habit trackers we have pr provided with you every uh, uh, you know resource available to get you out there there is no stopping if you still need support if you still need help we are there okay so use the community well and now i have another announcement to make we yes. talked today so i have mentioned it many times there are three driving factors for humans health wealth, wealth relationships. relationships today we covered on this very important health because we feel health is the most important unless and until you have the energy you have the drive you have that willingness to work how will you work on your other goals if in the morning itself i am not able to wake up how will i able to be an entrepreneur how am i going to get that tedx talk how am i going to be a better partner so it all starts with health and by the way when i say health mental health and physical health are 100% related you work out enough you eat healthy enough there is no way your brain will not thank you and become better okay so you have to do this so on saturday we have a session on wealth creation for this in uh, today we worked on health saturday we are going to do a very special session on wealth on how you can use your best skills your best abilities to generate immense wealth for you how to create a legacy behind you how to leave behind a story of excellence for you so i am inviting not just you i want you all to get a friend along i want you all to bring someone who you think can get into entrepreneurship who you can you know feel who you feel has a lot of potential but is not able to do it because of limiting beliefs so get that person out there and with and of course you have to come so we have dropped the link it's a free webinar it's completely like free this. completely free we want to offer a lot of value for you it's completely free so i want you to invite your friends and everyone and let's 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 live a life which we are truly truly proud of yes and i was and i'll tell you you have seen this webinar guys i call it's a free webinar but the value you are getting is immense so it's going to be the same for the saturday webinar i don't want you to take it as a optional thing so right now if you are truly serious in 2024 to get more money to get the money that you oh, deserve wow. not even want you deserve because you are skillful enough you are knowledgeable enough Put it in your calendars right now. Niranjan has taught you all how to put in your calendars. Put it out there Saturday, ten a.m. Add it right away. I don't want you to forget it. Add it to your calendar. Write it in your journal. Put a sticky note. Do anything. Join us on Saturday, 
and you are going to see that how just understanding a few small things can have massive impact massive massive changes you will do it i shared it in the whatsapp group also so it can be forwarded everywhere and invite your friends invite everyone to join in and uh, let's 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 help others get everything that we got this year yes this calendar class i just held two days back i yeah, think just a couple of days back a couple of days back it's going to be held again on 24 25 please stay there in case you are uh, you don't know about what the webinars are happening please stay updated on our instagram please be part of the groups we will get we'll tell you about that. all right ready so let's understand let's answer your questions one by one let's move on to q and a okay so so we'll take roughly see most of the questions that you are asking here are around the fact that how to control mm. eating how to do it if there was a way which could you know control your eating uh, habits or cravings and all of it there would be nobel prize for it correct correct because there is absolutely no shortcut no thing to it you can do things like you know have water more there are the show them that substitute slide niranjan chowmin instead of that something you can make but a big part of this is self discipline if you are extreme so one of the things i do is i have told you in the other classes also i have told you in live crowd is point and doing it i point out to the fridge and say i will not open you after 8 pm i look at certain foods and sugar and i will say i will not eat you that really helps me get the second is don't keep anything in the fridge see here you can understand that a lot of times we go into craving mode and we eat number one primarily because of habits habits of eating you know being used to something number two maybe because we are just genuinely hungry so in order for you to avoid this mistake i want you to start understanding food swaps for example instead of chips just eat popcorns you can eat a huge bucket of popcorn of course you don't want cheesy caramelized this or anything or if you are not able to control at all yeah. if you are hungry please eat cucumber Yes. Please eat. I have in my fridge. We have two of... things in our fridge at any point of time: boiled eggs, cucumber, cucumber. and carrot slices. True, true, true. true any time you open the fridge, you will see only carrot and cucumber. You will pick it up and eat it. Yes. Okay. So keep all of these things ready. I will. I am. I am going to meal plan this Sunday. So I am going to share with you all the things that I keep ready. I keep sharing on Instagram also today. I am cooking this today. I am doing this. So all of those I will share. Please. Keep only food that is healthy, and you will be healthy. Do that. Do that. Don't buy those biscuits saying guest aa gaye kabi to karo. Ah, that is so important. Extra mat you order from them when guests come. That is so important, and when guests come, give them dry fruits. No, give them dry fruits or regular fruits. Some guests don't deserve dry fruit, Niranjan. What are you saying? Then give them regular fruits. See, the the thing is that let's not fool ourselves, and let's not. Uh, if you you can only eat what you have actually if you are not storing biscuits chips cakes and other stuff then there is a lot of difficulty for you to order wait for it to come and eat it requires a lot of will power and when you are in a mood to eat emotionally we will most of a not have the patience or the will power you'll be like are this much difficulty might as well just leave it and that's what you want to do you want to use this to your advantage that is so 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 important and it goes for anything even finance planning and you know everything a big part of this is just understanding what works understanding what does not work i'm dropping the link once again here please please not on join in and also invite others also to come along your friends share it away it's completely free and i want you to i want you to be the guiding light that others wished they had karan preet if you have reached your ideal weight then maintain it Don't think now I have reached my ideal weight. I am allowed to eat anything. I am allowed to cheat on anything. That means you have been blessed with something. Mm. Keep maintaining it. Maybe you can go light on how much you exercise with it. Yeah. You can get a little more uh, calorie intake. You can do it, but do not think now I can start eating whatever I want to do. You want to answer this? I just did. You know, emotional eating, binge eating, even when it is there, it is all self control. There is. no solution to this i had we yeah. used to take this special session on it where i said uh, right about in, craving control you, using atomic habits about it, crave control about it there are atomic habits, habits to do it we had a separate session on all of this but the truth is all of these are just mental block and all of it 
you have to do the one thing i have done drastic measures as i would have a rubber band and every time i would have a craving i would start clicking on it so that my craving and that became mm. a negative thing atomic habits if you read there is a way of cue craving response all of it but everything boils down to is you have to be mentally strong either you do it by journaling about it either you do it by mentally at focusing your attention on something else you have to experiment with different things and do with it some of my friends do very extreme things as i lock up the fridge at night oh wow okay. really yeah yeah uh, ranu used to do this she used to lock the fridge and say and give the key some people oh. do a thing like not buy anything wrong and keep ah. just a very fixed meal at this a okay, very boring food ask somebody else accountable partner ki every time you got cat me eating something you do it some people do it but it all comes down to what you want in life and to reminded it for example one thing i have done is i have a vision board so we have a picture of our perfect self on it on my soul book i was there all inspirations yes yeah, every i think um, third fourth day on why health is important to me i write it very clearly on this that if i don't be fat i'll read out some of the lines that i've written oh beautiful okay she is really going to open it up for you so please pay attention okay why is weight loss so important to me i will be able to feel more confident and hence able to reach out to more people and impact them i will be able to focus more on other areas in life i will experience energy and spontaneity i will live longer with boo and have a high quality of life i want us to grow older and better together okay i'll be able to travel more and explore more i will enjoy a life of more health i will not have to pay doctors for my fees okay what will happen if i don't lose my weight i will have to spend a lot of on my insurance money and my life will be disrupted i will grow irritated and fail in my career goals Beautiful. i will never look good on the in the mirror and hence never feel this level of confidence okay when i write all this of course the next time i think and this is so much in my conscious and i'm saying this because i've been able to do it i failed many times over last year i would niranjan so i i i love eating chips and at midnight while watching netflix so i would send niranjan to go to sleep downstairs with his amma and i would eat chips chup chup ke he would of course find out from the wrapper and all that i'm a little stupid that way that i don't throw the wrapper but this year i have been able to, not this year last 2 3 months i have been able to curb it because of journaling because of the conversation i have with myself because of very clearly choosing my priorities so all of this is about a mental strength is all about putting into this okay right so tarun please to answer your question number 1 to understand your calories uh, yeah, the food that you consuming number 1 yes there are apps like healthify and my fitness pal there are all these trackers so basically once you go through the app interface you'll understand you can add food according to what food you're eating you will this will require some work because you'll have to measure how much you're eating there are these small weights you can get measure and then track i used to do that now one thing is one interesting thing is as you do this let's say for a month or uh, two you will come to understand this much food contains this you will have you will be educated over it and then tracking is no longer needed i don't track personally i don't have the need because i intuitively understand and that comes with experience number 2 maintaining is also the same thing once you understand this and what works for you you will just intuitively eat that and that is the best way to go always remember to start something to first learn it requires an additional effort and it will feel like your whole energy is being put on it and this is the phase when most of us give up but if you stick through it then it becomes a part of you and it's no longer becomes a problem and i'll tell you one more strategy to you know get in to make sure you never lose your weight goals i have a lot of my main i i'll be very honest how important is physical health to me this need to lose weight to me today if somebody comes and tells me i'll give you the right sustainable way i'm ready to give their entire wealth to it because mm. i know when i was in the best of my shape how well i was how much confidence i had how much i was willing to give to my life 
So it is like my biggest pain point. This entrepreneurship. Twenty twenty four will get it. Will set it right. Relationship that I take for granted only, and you know everything is a secondary to me. So my phone. If, I don't know if you can see it. It's in a very bad shape. I desperately need a phone, but I have made it my goal that unless I reach my weight, reach my weight goal, or this phone dies, I will not buy it. So for every determination. Season, One kilo of fat that I have done in my journal. I'll show you once, and let me show them Niranjan once. Every weight that I'm going to lose, I'm, I have a corresponding gift with me. That every one kilo I'll do, I'll reward it. And no, sorry, the reward is not I will eat an ice cream after I lose it. The rewards are things like I will buy a book, I will buy a coffee mug, I will buy a diffuser. Small things that I anyways would have bought, but now I have an incentive to do it. So one of the strategies is this. Another strategy is I want you to write down this today. Two questions: mm. What is going to happen if I lose my weight? And I don't mean to say just say things like I'm going to be more fitter. I'm going to fit into a dress. What is your new life going to look like? And second is what is going to happen if I don't do it? How is going to be? Will it affect your relationship with partners? Will it affect the way you look at yourself? Will it affect your ten years later? I'm going to read something that I wrote in my journal and that has been a huge changing point for me. Beautiful. Go ahead. Love Every it. Every food and lifestyle choice I make has the power to break or make each individual cell of my body. I am oh. literally what I eat. My body is the thing that I use the most and belongs to me the most. Only I have the right over it, and only I have the responsibility over it. Okay, how I look is ten percent of my body. How I feel is the rest. How I will age is the rest. Death is inevitable, but how my body would be at that point of time is my choice. My body works tirelessly to provide me with strength and energy to achieve all I want. I have a responsibility of helping it grow as much as I can. I owe it to my body. I owe it to myself. And every two three days, whenever I feel like you know just munching, just doing it, I have so much stress. Every workshop is a stress for me. I feel like let's get onto it. I simply Beautiful. get back to this, and that's the. So, if you are having struggles with consistency, if you are having struggles with going to gym, work on the mental part of it. Start journaling more about it. Make a nice, attractive habit tracker. We have shared with you these formats of habit planners. Trackers. We have kept Xerox for each week. So, just every week, I will write down what my meal plans are, what I'm going to eat, what I'm going to do. That's it. So, whenever you say. Fifty percent diet, fifty percent exercise, hundred percent discipline, hundred percent willpower. You really, really, really have to want to do this. See, this is a, you know, Salman Khan has said this in one of the interviews that having a great health and body is not that one hour you spend in the gym. It is about the twenty-three hours wow. that you spend outside. Wow. Yes. It's about the discipline, about the twenty-three hours that you spend out there, not about the one hour of hard work that you're putting. And this discipline has to apply in our sleep as well, and then how we manage our stress. And this is why we are so committed to our course. We teach you about de-stressing art. By the way, tomorrow morning we are going to be having the art class as well. So having good sleep, not taking in too much stress, all of this is vital to. Not just balancing it, we're just enjoying overall good health. Yeah, and I have diabetes. I had thyroid. I had PCOD. Now it's come back again, but I know I'm going to beat the shit out of it. Yes, I am going to drive this disease outside of my body because my body is so sacred and so pure to me. There is no space for all this inside it. I'll do it with discipline. I'll do it with diet. I'll do it with food. I'll do it with exercise. I'll do it because I have the right support. Just not just him, the community, and I'm going to do it. There is no other option. What is the other option? I live with disease all my life and struggle to uh, when I'm old, struggle for help and all. No, I am going to drive all of this out. And 2024 is the year we are going to do this together. Yes. Yes. 
so many things we couldn't talk about being on time you know all of, of course it's an extremely vast topic But coming up guys we have amazing webinars lined out for you all this month because we want you all to have a fantastic start to this uh, month so keep a look on your groups whenever we have announcements i think we have a whole um, where is that page i forgot we had a whole plan for you entire webinars but the saturday one start with it we are going to share the schedule on saturday on uh, what are the events happening i okay? love sansari's life book so make sure you do join it cool cool amazing amazing lovely lovely so is there any questions any anything else that needs clarification the only question you should be asking is morning what exercise will i do tomorrow uh -huh. yeah yeah exactly see remember that i don't want you to think about what to do what to do just pick one activity do it consistently and i and want you to share exercise. a picture tomorrow whenever you work out tomorrow yeah. whatever you do i want you to share in the group share it with me share it with niranjan share it with the community that is how we are going to do this yes swapna feel free to share you can unmute and talk you can directly unmute and talk. yeah i think unmute permission is there Uh, so every time I come to talk in any workshop, it's like I'm always talking about slow and flow. I can't hear you. What has happened to your voice? Ah, uh, one second, one second. I'll put headphones. Yeah, tell me. So, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. And by the way, let me tell you all: this woman is one of the most standing pinnacles of health. She is forty, forty-eight, forty-seven. Forty-seven. Forty-seven, and she looks like she is a teenager herself. She has diabetes, and she has a constant CGM method and all. But look at this woman—the kind of energy she has, the kind of drive she has. I you are that. literally my goals. I am not kidding. I'll send you a picture. I have written in my journal that in my twenty twenty-four, I want to, you know, in my when I grow old, I want to be like you. That vision of you in a red dress on Lonavla is the what I want to be in my old age. If I you so your age, much. I'm half as beautiful, stunning, and have this drive. I will consider my life successful. Thank you so much for giving me that vision that I want to be like. So I have diabetes also, you know, but you I want to be. So thank you so much for that. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I I wanted to share my experience here. How I have come to this. Uh, so it was not that i was not overweight i was 84 had come down to 79 the volume so the volume is very low today still low that's okay it's yeah, audible it's but it's low little there but is it still low now can you hear better getting better, yeah. yeah. better. so uh, what i want to share, uh, share is that uh, what exactly you guys told is true so because of stress sitting because of the stress lack of sleep uh, no control on sugary diets uh, there were there were i was totally into a mess so many medical complications you also know i uh, survived two heart attacks in last last spell and after that it was a eye opener but still i was working on it was not like i was losing weight i had a little bit of double chin but my target was never i want to be like karina kapoor figure or anything i just wanted to be healthy and uh, since i actually joined so i am not i'm so, i've always tell this because you have you guys have transformed you know from the day one the habits the meditation see i, I took a lot of classes and jari you know but nothing kept me hooked up except soul flow so slowly slowly i started building up habits slowly slowly meditation journaling everything i did come to know when i lose weight it was not just all this thing also diet now diet is something that food i love to eat but controlled food was two chapatis and a small bowl of rice more of dal more of vegetable more of leafy vegetables more of salad so i just added to my diet and uh, cut down on my you know carbohydrates calories is something that i can't calculate so this is how i calculate my food two hours before sleeping eat the food best time 7 between 7 and 8 so i put my camera off because i already got my of course i am i am having that luxury food in hand so soup 
then after half an hour food and that is it max if i feel hungry what i do is i eat a fruit at night uh, or uh, a glass a cup of milk that is all and it was so shocking i never it was not target ki you know that 34 36 figure nahi chahiye healthy chahiye and i have lost inches i have lost weight so i think guys if you follow what sanjari and niranjana are telling and and you become self aware what you are eating how much you are eating what time you are eating it really makes a lot of difference and with that sleeping and being happy is very important stress stress is Why there stress? for me also stress. stress is there but divert yourself get into journaling meditation i think that has really helped me out in you know uh, getting back on track thank you so yeah, much thank believe, you so much i can't believe you were fat before you have to send pictures now and yeah i'll say and promise me when i come to bangalore you'll wear sari and show me you you promise yes me. yes yes promise promise and to I'll highlight send my pictures and to <laughs> highlight this part uh, about sapna ji telling that i can't calculate calories and it is very true if you are trying to calculate calories on my on healthy fi you will struggle to maintain consistency so just understand in this broad category that more greens and vegetables have few because they have fewer calories you your if your aim is to lose fat consume more foods along this group fill your stomach with a salad before salad eating. before eating niranjan right. loves protein okay chicken all of it but he is not allowed to touch it unless he has completed 3/4 of the salad salads so, so first stuff yourself with a lot of lot salad. of salads ki the rice you eat automatically will decrease Correct. If you are a rice exactly. addict, I am a Bengali. Just imagine, I, I and I have not had rice. Curry for, gravy. See, uh, one thing. and a half years I have not had rice. Fill yourself with this, and then automatically the other stuff you eat less. So, see, few tips that you can immediately add is one thing: more greens and veggies. Secondly, as you're eating curries, those curry gravies, all those oils and sauces, they are very dense in calories. So, whenever I eat out, I just take the chicken pieces fish pieces and i leave the curry oil be behind because i don't want those butter chicken butter chicken gravy gravy part the food part ha huh. so this is one practical tip another third practical tip is eat in a smaller plate so you eat, you naturally eat less eat in a smaller plate and avoid going for the second serving complete at this and finally reduce sugars and uh, uh, sugars in your tea coffee and everything some if you are if you have eight cups of coffee and you add two teaspoons of sugar in it you are already consuming 2000 calories imagine that so pooja has asked a very important question many yes, times okay. it happens when you in turn in because of incorrect diet because of incorrect this and it has happened to me you don't lose weight you lose muscle mass muscle mass okay which is very bad because to gain muscle is very difficult, difficult. to do and honestly you can't do it with regular diet you will need a very high protein consumption and the protein that you eat in terms of paneer in terms of soya bean in terms of chicken will not be enough you will need high absorption protein which comes the protein powder protein now i know everybody thinks protein powders are poison nobody thinks pizza and burger is poison but the second you start taking protein powders everybody thinks of i I, i find it i i found it ridiculous that literally this has happened i've been to one of one of my father's friends parties and this uh, uncle there he was ha- sipping on alcohol and he was advising me on why i should stop protein powders i yeah I, exactly. so you will have to take protein powders there are now very veg protein and very clean sources of protein also coming up so research about it muscle gain is something you need very specialist trainer Correct. and you need a specialist dietitian and please do it because old age may your life is going to become very hey, difficult hey. muscle is your core of your body just a simple act of being able to pick up this cup and drink this also activates this also requires some level of muscle strength and you don't want to be in a place where you need help for everything dependency you don't the best dependency is the worst so many times in my journal the reason i don't i want to be healthier is i don't want to be a burden on somebody yeah yeah I mean, it's a, it's a bad feeling to have everybody and i want to be independent it's i want not to be a good feeling right
not a good feeling so it's a lot it's pretty late it's 10 and i want you to sleep early today because i want you to get up tomorrow and i want you to work out do yoga do the yoga challenge i'll be doing the world record challenge do it with us or you know go and get a gym subscription we love dancing in the morning one habit we have is every early time if the second morning. we wake up just like big boss we turn on cult fit and we dance for 15 20 minutes. minutes to get that dopamine rush he yeah, at least nothing that is our workout of the day Correct. and later 12 pm we go to the gym after working and all so tomorrow make a commitment i want you to write in the groups that you are part of that i am going to go in the i am going to work out tomorrow i'm going to eat healthy tomorrow hey Let's but but remember that i'm also going to be doing art classes all the platinum members everyone yes. part of life craft you know that so you can join in for the art class at 6 am and we'll be wrapping up by 6:45 after that of course let's go let's start okay you wrap till 6:30 yaar 6:30 mera yoga challenge hai we'll do it till then we'll do it all right so take care everyone take care of your body it's your vehicle respect it it's a temple for your soul respect it love it treat it with care and kindness and like sincerity says give it a big hug and promise it that you're going to take you're going to not going to be trait Take care everyone. Good so night and thank you so much.